Well, watch out for the teenagers from hell at nine o'clock. But first of all, who'll be the talk of the Christmas party? In the bill. Stand by the wall. The Cooperative Bank Personal Loans, in association with The Bill. Previously on The Bill. I'm gonna fall! You're not taking me with you. Oscar 759. I see one male falling from building. I think he's dead. Send an ambulance quick. 759 from Sierra Oscar. Gabriel! Received. Stay here, I'm going up! Sierra Oscar for 759. I'm entering the flat and taking the stairs up to the fifth floor to join PC 10. Sierra Oscar from 275. I can't get any vital signs. The ambulance is most urgent. Gabriel, you're trying to kill me. Did you push him? What's wrong with you? You saw everything. I never pushed anyone. I tried to save him. We had a heavy presence on the estate. Where exactly did the incident occur? He fell from one of the upper floors. And who were the first officers on the scene? PCs Valentine, Kent and Hunter. We're sure it's the sniper. 90%. So much for the good news. The sting in the tails of the death in custody. I don't want Hunter and Kent to confer before I interview them. You just called the sniper the IMRL. My first presumption would be that my officers were doing their job. By definition, I have to treat it as suspicious and wait for the DPS. In the meantime, I want to ensure that no one tidies up their story. This is totally screwed up, and Gabriel's in the middle of it yet again. What are you saying? I gave instructions that we were going to go up floor by floor and flat by flat. Gabriel vanishes. He goes straight to the top floor like he knew where he was going. That's a big assumption, Sarge. That's huge. Can you back it up? Then wait for the major investigation team to ask you and tell them what you know. But don't stick your neck out. Not unless you're 100% sure. Brave was stupid. Why didn't he just back off and wait for us on 19? I don't know. Roger said you were there, underneath. Right there when he fell? OK, Lance. We'll have plenty of time to discuss this later. Sir. You know the DPS will be involved from now on. MIT want to make sure that neither you or Gabriel confer before you give your statements. Confer, sir? Why would we do that? I'm not saying you would. I'm saying don't. rents the flat. He obviously sublet it to the victim, but there's nothing to tell us who it is. There has to be something. There's the weapon, a pistol this time, and we found a computer. But there's a total absence of any personal items. Fingerprints? Done. But we won't have the results for a few hours. Someone was feeding this man information from inside your nick. But now he's dead, so he can't tell us who. What's your point? It stinks, sir. That's my point. Thanks for your help, anyway. Oh, all right, thanks. Have you heard the one about the Scotsman, the Irishman and the Puff? What? How many Puffs does it take to change a light bulb? What's eating you? 
I'll tell you what's eating me, Lance. I've been listening to puff jokes all morning. My team's having a, a puff jokes jamboree. So? Any of them good? <laughs> Don't laugh at me, Lance. I told you this would happen. Well, deal with it. Look, they're your team, and now they know. So be happy. You don't have to hide anymore. Well done, mate. Keep your chin up. Straight to FME. Don't leave your shoes and your clothes. Is it all right if you use the toilet, sir? They gave me about five cups of tea out there. Quickly. PC Hunter seemed pretty shaken up, sir. He's fine. MIT have asked me to impress on you both. They want completely independent accounts of what happened. We caught the sniper, sir. That's what happened. Unfortunately, he also died. Has MIT got its nose out of joint because we solved it instead of them? No, but they do have another death to investigate. Sounds to me like the usual obsession with covering their backsides and how it reads in the papers. You think someone could have said a thank you or a well done? Bringing the shootings to an end is a proper result. It's a great relief for everybody. Just doing my job, sir. What's this? Early Christmas present. You can open it. Oh, it's beautiful. Yeah? Yeah. I'm no good at this, but... Neil, why are you giving this to me now and why here? I thought you'd like it. Yeah, but why not tonight? Can't make it tonight. You promised. I know. I'm sorry, but I've got to go shopping with Philippa. Christmas shopping for the cosy Christmas you're spending at home together. There's nothing I can do about that. Do you know what I'm doing this Christmas? Working. So I'll be damned if I'm going to spend it alone. Look, Andre, you're the one that I want. You're the one that I think of all the time. Then show me. Not with words, Neil, or necklaces. Show me. I've given Marilyn my ten. Oh, yeah, so have I. If this Christmas party turns out like your other ones, I swear. But any time I've got to tell you, Tony, it's Marilyn's organising this one, yeah? Not me. Ah, the man of the moment. Yeah, well done, mate. Have you seen MIT yet? Not yet. And I've got the DPS to deal with. <laughs> Don't worry, you'll walk it. Come on, who's buying you a pint? Uh, some other time, eh? Rich buying a pint, there won't be another time. So what do you think about Yvonne? Do you reckon she'll cut the mustard as acting sergeant? I mean, there's such a thing as running before you can walk. Okay. Now, look, she can hop on one leg as far as I'm concerned. She's going to do all right. Units from Sierra Oscar 2-1, Blue Ford Mondeo, November 789, Yankee Oscar Juliet, going north at speed. Just passing Kelly Lane now. Driver, I see one male, passenger, I see three female. It's next on the left. Yeah, Sierra Oscar 2-1 from Sierra 1. We're arriving at Trafford Street now. Over. Sierra Oscar 2-1, we are now 
behind the suspect vehicle is just on a half right turn. We are now going the wrong way, repeat the wrong way for one way street. Over. Zero one. The suspect car has crashed at junction of Trafford Street and Kellett Lane. Can we have ambulance and fire brigade, please? Zero one received. You all right, love? You okay? It's the police, all right? Shirley. Yeah, okay, Shirley, you just take it easy, all right? We're having out there in a minute, okay? In. We got a fingerprint match. On the snow? He had an assault conviction. His name's Jason Hardy. Anything on the computer? No, the techies say the hard drive's been wiped. What did the ID give us? Hardy was ex-special boat service. That'll explain the sniper training. Someone told me PC Kent was in the Navy. Is that correct? Yes. What relevance does that have? I don't know until I look into it. I've spoken to the DPS. We'll do Sergeant Smith first and then PC Hunter. And PC Kent? Last. Hello. What are you hiding in here for? I'm going to speak to MIT and the DPS guy. Okay, relax, they're not going to eat you. They just want to know what you saw. I'm not sure. I saw two men fighting. I thought he was trying to push Gabriel off. I don't know, all right? Gabriel was... Gabriel was what? He was acting weird all day. Steve, it's death in custody. What exactly are you saying? got to support each other. I'm saying I don't know what happened, and everyone will expect me to back him up. Uh, Amber, what are you doing here? I thought I told you to go and relieve him down the coal lane. Sorry, Sarge, I was just going. You OK? Yeah, happy as Larry, Sarge. Good. How's it going, Sarge? Leave it out, Roger. Honest question. I'm rushed off my feet. I can't find the man with the toner for the photocopier. And basically, I'm making it up as I go along. Business as usual, then. Yvonne, mm. there's been an RTA involving your friend Shirley. Is she OK? She's broken both legs, but the driver's dead. Where is she? In St Hughes. Why is the ID involved? They found this at the scene. Looks like she's still using. It's the reason why we lost touch. We've tried talking to her, but she's not saying anything. Could you have a word? You can't see that I've got my hands full running the team today. Yeah, I know, but this is really important. What do you need? The name of the dead boy. We don't know who he is. What instructions did you give to Kent? I sent him and PC Hunter to do a search at the back of the building. I wanted to keep it low profile. The next thing I hear from PC Hunter is that PC Kent has gone off on his own. What do you mean, gone off on his own? It seems that in the confusion, they thought it would be best if they split up. Kent peeled off and apparently went straight to the top floor. I do a lot of these interviews, as you can imagine, Sergeant. Well? The one thing they usually have in common is fellow officers putting the best possible spin on one another's behaviour. You're not doing that. What inferences do you draw from what you're telling me? None. As we know, there is some history between you and PC Kent. The Kerry Young allegations never pursued by her that she was raped. Mom. Does that history have any relevance? No, Mom. I'm not casting any aspersions. And if that's how it sounded, that certainly wasn't my intention. I think PC Kent was extremely brave to tackle a man he thought was a killer, single-handedly, without waiting for backup or using his radio. I'm simply telling you what happened on the ground. Nothing added, nothing taken out, Mom. Have they seen you yet? No. They're speaking to Sergeant Smith. Good luck. I don't need luck. I've got a witness. Are you sure about that? Yeah. Steve. <laughs> 